decided to, to cut across this steeper slope. We had just uh, finished climbing the north face. I was stuck to an objective. I wanted to ski this bowl. I moved out onto the slope. It got this feeling I wasn't in the right place. My gut was saying, I don't like this. I turned it right off. But as soon as we stepped into the gully, the feature started to slide. So it took two more steps. The avalanche happened. So I did about four or five more turns. All of a sudden, probably ran close to a thousand feet. It had stepped down to the entire half size of the bowl. I thought to myself, this is not good. My pack and my hard hat saved me from really serious injury. I cannot go over this cliff or it's game over. And was totally helpless. And I could feel the blocks banging me around. Being caught in an avalanche is not a random event. It is a result of specific terrain features, weak layers within the snowpack, and a sufficient trigger to initiate the avalanche. By learning to identify these conditions, you can avoid avalanche terrain, recognize weak layers within the snow, and travel safely in the mountains. You need to recognize when you are in avalanche terrain, assess the stability through a public avalanche bulletin, understand the consequences of being caught in an avalanche, and most importantly, know when to stop and not enter potential avalanche terrain. When the avalanche came to a stop, I tried to stand up, but I was just too shattered. The rest of the world just continued over my head, and I had stopped. 